بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والصلاة سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is not a response to Jordan Peterson I repeat this is not a response to Jordan Peterson This is a response to the Ummah and to our brothers who have made a response to Jordan Peterson You've seen it, I'm not going to name the brothers Of course some of them are on point, I understand what they're saying I appreciate their contribution and I think they've nailed it they hit the nail on the head but I'm going to talk about something different today everyone's focused on Jordan Peterson oh my god what you do how dare you you know the thumbnails are funny quite interesting very creative as I said the content is good most people have addressed the issue of course the Muslims are shocked how dare he think that he can come in and give Muslims a solution now to all the problems that supposedly we have. But this video is not about that. First and foremost, point number one. Are you shocked that he said that? I'm not. <laughs> Why am I not shocked? Because he's not a Muslim. He's had a lot of success. Do you think he's not? he doesn't have an ego? That he will come and propose the solution that he can be the savior Jesus Christ for the Muslims of course I'm not shocked like I don't know I don't understand why these brothers are shocked I don't understand the thumbnails I don't understand why everyone's like oh my god this is the problem with us today we're suffering from this inferiority complex and we put our eggs in one basket we put our hopes out of all people into non-Muslims you know oh there's a new study the non-Muslims have discovered that the, you know, fasting twice a, a day a, a week will help fight dementia. Oh my God, the Quran is the truth. Allahu Akbar. Everyone's happy. Finally, their iman is boosted because the non-Muslims have confirmed that fasting twice a week can help fight dementia. It's a true study, by the way. Why do we need? these people now i'm not saying look it's great that people have interactions jordan peterson was talking talking to different muslim speakers great but why are we putting our hopes in these people and then when they disappoint us all of a sudden we just cancel them can you benefit from jordan peterson i'll tell you why many muslims have benefited from them that's point number two i'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible I'm more upset <laughs> at some other statements that some of our imams have been making recently. I'm very upset at that because I don't expect that from the Muslim imams who are preaching, memorizing the Quran, teaching a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. I'm upset at that. I'm not really upset at him because I would expect something like that to come from a non-Muslim. Which leads me to my second point. You know what the real problem is, brothers? All the brothers who have made the videos, responses, and so on. The real problem is that Muslims were so impressed with him because what he was saying was resonating with the fitra. Because some of the things that he was saying were resonating with what Muslims should be like. Fighting standing up against the oppression specifically the agenda of the woke of the lgbtq and many others liberal liberals feminism which a lot of our imams and speakers lo and behold were not able to do they didn't have the courage to stand up against those so here comes jordan peterson almost like He's representing Islam. So many Muslims have listened to him, including myself. I shared some of his stuff. I'm still benefiting from some of his lectures. I'm not going to cancel him. Not because I agree with things. I totally disagree. I condemn what he said. And I agree with the brothers who have made the responses and how they analyzed and broke down his video. I agree with them. I totally disagree with Jordan Pearson. But he's a psychologist. He's got a lot of knowledge. And there's a lot of benefit. Having said that, 
having said that, I condemn every single word he said, every idea he has, it's totally wrong, ludicrous. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And it's his ego. It's because we don't have representation. None of our imams have stood up to the extent that he did to go against the LGBTQ, against feminism and others. So Muslims saw in him like a representation of what Islam should be or what Muslims should act like. And when he's gone the other way, which is very expected, he's a kafir. Sorry, excuse me, you know, for being so direct. But this is the reality. Why do we have, do we need Jordan Peterson to represent us? You know, it reminds me of something interesting a few years ago. It just shows the condition that we're in. It just shows that we have a problem. We don't have representation. When Habib was fighting Conor McGregor, so many Muslims came back to Islam. It, it was almost like, wow, this is the fight between Haq and Batil. Come on, are you kidding me? I, I love Habib as a guy, you know, may Allah bless him. There's a lot of things I don't agree with him, of course. That discussion has been way past. But why? The, I'm talking about the reaction of the Ummah. That's why my video today, I'm not focusing on Jordan Peterson. I'm talking about the reaction of the Ummah to him disappointing us. Look at the reaction of the Ummah when Khabib was fighting McGregor. It's because there's no one who could represent that strength and honor part of Islam other than an MMA fighter. To stand up against someone who has insulted Islam. And there's no one really at the level. I'm going to say it again. That's why I respect him, Jordan Peterson, as a worthy opponent. I disagree with him. I hate what he said. We haven't created anything <laughs> that can replace him. So we need to fill him in. We need to put him in the Ummah to represent us, to fight our war against feminism and LGBTQ. And against liberalism, we need Jordan Peterson. And when he sells out, all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh my God, why this and that? How dare you, Jordan Peterson? I mean, we should be ashamed. I should be ashamed of myself first. Where, 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 what have I done? What have you done in this war? What has he done? He's done a lot. Now, just because he doesn't say sh uh, shahada, all, all of a sudden everyone's like shocked. Of course he's not going to say shahada. Guidance is, is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Guidance is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not with Muhammad Hijab or Hamza Yusuf. But then again, we are holding on to these things. We're hoping because why? Had we had our champions to champion our cause and our direction, we would not need to look for Jordan Peterson and I don't know who or Khabib to represent Islam as if the whole, you know, it's like Pakistan playing India. It's like, you know, the Armageddon. Like the Muslims, like for them, it's like, that's it. It's Islam versus, you know, shirk. We need to produce. We need to produce. Wake up schools. Wake up masajid. Wake up, O Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Where are your champions? Where are your champions? Produce. We need it. Where are the programs to produce our champions who represent Islam? Intellectually, physically, spiritually, on all levels. We need to change. We need to go back to Quran and Sunnah. Simple. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.